Hello, ladies, gents, and slowly decaying terminal patients with nothing better to do. I am having the best of pleasure entertaining you in your last days. Welcome back to the never-ending quest of having Spelunky 2 torture me until the end of time. Case in point, this arrow trap situation is insane. All right, it's all good. It's all good. I may have missed. I may have missed the beautiful arrow whipping, but there's nothing stopping me from carrying on my life. For I am faster than the speed of light. You cannot stop me. From not being arrowed in my ass. So look, once again, I, I don't know what's going on, brother. My sleep pattern. Don't know what's going on there. Like, literally, I don't know what's going on. It was an extinction burst. I've been trying to fix it. Yet somehow I managed to stay up until 2 a.m. last night playing more some more Slay the Spire. Someone help me, please. I made the terrible mistake. A terrible mistake. And the video's already done. It's going up soon. What a what a rookie mistake of booting up Slay the Spire. And trying out the... Did I just throw a, a rope down? That is what just transpired. I hope that you enjoy this incredible interaction that I... <laughs> visited upon you. Oh, I should have been... <laughs> I hope that you also enjoy the panic rope that just came out of my butt. <laughs> it was literally a panic rope. <laughs> just trying to make things work. What a terrible, terrible thing. Made a horrible mistake, my brothers and sisters in arms. I tried out the downfall, ow, downfall mod for Slade Aspire, and it is so good. Oh, it's so good. Revitalized the entire Slade Aspire experience. I am back in, taking up hours of my day that I could, I should be using for all sorts of things. I'm just sitting there. Drafting cards, building decks, being the most worthless piece of garbage playing the video game instead of doing anything productive. God damn it, Slade Spire, why you do this to me? Why? <laughs> it's not my fault. I just try. I try so hard against my video game addiction, but I have a problem, okay? You may say the first pro the first step of Dealing with a problem is to recognize that you have it. Bitch, I took that step 20 years ago. It did not work. That's the first step and the only step. My video game addiction is all powerful. It's all consuming. There's just no uh, animal in this level, huh? There just, they just ain't. How come? Probably it was at the very top or something silly like that. Where are you, Cali? You deserve some more flesh. Uh, but holy crap, it's downfall good. I already waxed poetic upon it in the video itself. All the incredible things that it adds, what is the most, the biggest impact that I see in it is how well designed it is. It just blends in with the original game. You could totally see the downfall character for Slay the Spire being actually included in the game and it would not be, maybe with a little bit of tweaking, there are some things that are a little overpowered in the mod uh, but overall it's just so impressive, what an impressive effort by people that really know what they're doing that's all I have to say about that it's just some truly great piece of software that got me climbing that spire yet again Cannot help it. Cannot help it. More powerful than me. Maybe that is m m the the strategy that I need to follow. Put my hands in the... M put my fate in the hands of a higher power. Take that first step in the 12-step pro program. There. We gotta ring the bell. Otherwise, the run is cursed, as we have seen several times before. Hello, Callie? I knew that my devoted prayers would be answered. Oh, yeah. 
This is it. This is the most wonderful run you can possibly imagine. This seed is something out of this world. So clearly I'm going to lose to Lava in 2-2 after an evil imp throws a pot at my head. And that won't be what it will kill me. It will be what distracts me into getting shot in the head. And of course I will survive that because of my incredible ability to have a Kapala in my pocket. But then that shot will throw me straight to the lava. And if I call this out being what actually happened, uh, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I would enjoy that. I would like to help myself to all of those things that they own, but that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Right, right, am I right? I mean, it's possible. Stop shooting that way though. We have a minute and a half. That guy's already dead. Will greed, probably greed is going, what's gonna get me here. Cause I'm going for that. <laughs> I'm going for those bombs. And I'm going to wait until this man jumps right there. And I will take, give me that. <laughs> I mean, I should have just grab, <laughs> grabbed the uh, resources and left, but I needed to get a shot, a stomp on his head just for that extra humiliation. Very important to me. You know, making a point, making a statement right there. Like, hey, you're not the boss of me. Saving this dog is not the boss of me. I do not care about anything that transpires. Sir, I would like you to depart from this very inconvenient position you're in. Actually, oh no, no, we have a jetpack. We're still going to Volcana. But you know how it works. We now need to save Van Horseface and they go, go to the freaking temple. And then we'll have a hostile pile of people and uh, Tusk's Palace. But you know something that I was thinking about between last day's daily challenge and today's? We don't need to even go inside Tusk's Palace. It's all a matter of stealing his her crap. So <laughs> all we need to do, please, you scum lord, just get out of my face. Um, all we need to do, okay, it went away is go to the bot well kill the guard at the top then go to the bottom and kill that one that guy too and then we're good we don't need to go inside and feast upon her ill-gotten banquet we're just going to steal her junk and go we, are, we don't have time to stuff our faces with delicious treats what the Holy crap! This <laughs> man is, is, is a powerful individual. Holy crap, so much violence happening up there. Uh, we do need to go in there though. This is a pretty dangerous spot. Oh, that's bad. We should be okay. Let me grab the shotgun. I'm gonna leave it over here. I mean, everything down there is, is a pretty bad thing. We may very easily die to a fireman right now. Do not kill me. Okay. Uh, this is not the way I want to go. I just wanted to steal your money. <laughs> um, we're going all the way back to free the uh, unfairly imprisoned man. Hello, Van Horseface. Give me the diamond. We will see you at the temple if all goes well. Which is, you know, it is a, <laughs> it's a pretty... Oh man, does that count that I did violence against his shop? Because I did trigger that trap. Therefore, I did violence against his shop. Therefore, am I now persona non grata? Am I now a criminal still on the run? I appreciate your insistence of being mindlessly aggressive, you idiot. I feel forgiven. It does not count because the man was already dead and he made no difference. Let's not traverse that horrible pile of lava. Don't want it. Hello, rat face. You and I did not see eye to eye in the previous instance of our existence, but in this new and improved life, I have reformed my ways. I am now only after 
Shopkeeper. Really, it's a skeleton, huh? It's not a bow. Only hu out uh, to humiliate the shopkeepers. You and I, we can be on the same team yet again. What is happening? <laughs> Please. I am uh, in need of a bow and arrow. Probably it's right, right below me. So let's go this way. And we do have 37 bombs, so it'll be fine. Either way, I'm gonna make my way through this shaft and mine to the Earth's core if I have to. This bow and arrow shall be mine, and I will carry it to fruition of my quest. See you, you piece of trash, trying to harsh my mellow. All right, we're good. We only have seven health. Let me grab this blood. Oh yeah. We, uh, we leave. Great stuff. We even have the choice with so many bombs not to even trigger the drill. It's not in this level. We can, like, we can look at the level, see if triggering the drill is a massive pain in my asshole. And if that's the case, we'll just bomb down. Whoop. Oh, yeah. Everything is coming out. This seed, uh, th that's the problem, you see. The problem is when you get a really good seed like this, there's gonna be many more winners than there usually would be. Okay, let's take a look at what this level is like. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing with this hamster? Extremely disturbing. Do not like what I am seeing. Let me put an end to it. Don't tell me you are one of those dirty, dirty fans of the zoo. All right, where, where, where you going? See, there is a a, a really <laughs> hapless, <laughs> totally clueless shopkeeper down there that would absolutely ruin the run in the you know in the coming in the coming three hours that are definitely ahead oh that was my last rope i did not realize i had nothing please do not be mad because i did that to you all right it's all good what a, what a maniac man that is like a zero tolerance policy forget about that silly nonsense that they told you in school that they have a zero tolerance for bullying and then the teacher turns around and slaps you across your butt cheeks and tells you great job junior see me after class and then you show up and then he is on the desk naked and covered in butter and he said start licking buddy if you want an a uh, well it's nothing like that this man is a, a true blue patriot that will defend Come on, blow it, blow up, you piece of crap. Uh, we'll defend his property for king and country. Holy crap! All right, all right. Just get me all the way to the bottom here, and watch out for firemen ruining my life. I could resent the fact that there's no powder cakes exactly in the path that I want to follow, but I accept it. We're good. There's the exit. And we carry on to Vlad's castle, of course. Don't really need the bow because Vlad is going to be out there, but who you know, it is a possibility if Vlad misses. We don't take chances around these parts. We'll uh, have a sidekick, but if push comes to shove, we'll be the protagonist that we're meant to be. Put this arrow through that Craven's heart. Absolutely garbage. Vampire Lord has been oppressing this volcano for far too long. You could even say for way too long. Okay, if you are the tallest man in China. All right, all right, we are the, the winners here. We are the winners. Hello, and Horseface. I hate this. <laughs> Let me whip you real good. Let me kill you real good. Okay, Van Horse face, we put all our faith in your ability to shoot him. All right, straight in the face. Um, a shame I don't get this cape. I'm tempted. I'm very much tempted because this cape is super nice with the spring shoes, you know. But a 
Okay, I think that we have learned the lesson that we do want some slaves. We don't really need Cali. But we want a couple of these buffoons to carry stuff. I'll help out in the future. Eh, who cares about that, Ruby? Money is of no import as I go through these lowly pathetic levels. Later on, it will become more of an issue. For now, though, no money concerns for me. Okay. Bomb over there. Hmm. We need to talk about something, brother. We need to talk about something and you're not gonna like it. We need to talk about it. Attack on Titan, okay? I finally gave up as I find. I watched the mainstream anime. I watched the thing that everybody... And it's good, okay? Attack on Titan is good about 50% of the time. The other 50% of the time, it indulges the absolute worst Dragon Ball Z padding and stalling you could conceive. <laughs> and thank goodness it's no longer 1996 and I am at the kitchen table watching the cartoons in the morning and there is no way to, to skip past the seven episodes of Frieza rambling that I am being subjected to as a 10 year old or 8 year old, however old I was. And I have a remote in my hand that allows me to skip past all the inane, completely worthless ooh, exposition and padding that is the absolute worst exponent, exponent of Japanese storytelling. I love myself some good anime but holy crap do i not I, i'm i have really short patience for that quintessentially japanese style of storytelling of super on the nose exposition that is why i actually really liked a lot the berserk movies from what was it 2014 they, they came out sometime in the last decade and I think that was like the best Berserk, much better than the show. I know this is, I know that this, this is haram to be saying. I know that people hold the, you know, the old fashioned TV show uh, in very, very high regard. And I, me too, I liked it a lot when I watched it. Uh, but the movies are by far my favorite because they cut so much of that massively obnoxious exposition holy crap brother allow me to kill you <laughs> that was obnoxious as hell anyway anyway I'm getting in the, lost in the weeds here let me just kill this damn old mech i i realize i understand it's like a, a storytelling style it is not for everybody some people are really fond of it some people make a lot of excuses for it i'm not one of them and it's, a, it's super egregious when you talk to anybody that watched Dragon Ball Z as it was airing back then. They were like, oh, hell yeah, man. Uh, it was painful, painful to sit through those episodes. Like, are they going to fight? Are they going to fight? No, it's still another episode of talking while freeze framing. <laughs> you know, uh, Atanic on Titan is not that egregious. But man, there are episodes, or half episodes, there's always something decent in every episode. Some of the episodes are like, please, don't, I don't want to know about this com this conversation. You could just do it in a facial expression that takes a second to point out. But instead, you're doing a 20 minute conversation. <laughs> and I cannot take it, okay? So... <laughs> I just wanted to get it off my chest, all right? That I, I appreciate this show. I am really enjoying it. I'm only on season one. No spoilers, please. Oh, for a moment, I was like, <gasps> my bow! But no, we're good. We're good in that department. We're going to the temple. Everything is according to plan. All right, you, you idiot buffoons. Fall asleep until I call upon your services. Do not test me, brother. Why you do this to me? Why you have to be like this, huh? There's Anubis. Please don't wake up. Okay, he didn't. It's all good. The plan is to go to his feet. Put two bombs. Then we go over here. Yeah, there you go. It was very important 
to remain under so that he would not move away from the bombs. And, you know, just play fast and loose with this. <laughs> Surely will not kill my slaves, right? All right. Huh. Did it go up and kill my slaves? No, it would have gone for that evil temptress. This shot should do uh, wonders. I was hoping to kill that other piece of trash right down there. Gotta be careful about that uh, ghost pot, though. Okay, this is getting to the point where I do want to pick up some money. It's nothing to be found here. Let me throw you into the garbage. I apologize to you, Major Stupid. I'm trying to find... Holy crap, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a terrible mistake! <sighs> well, thank you for your service, actually. Well done, Gronk 1 and 2. You are, in fact... Real team players, your sacrifice will now be forgotten. <laughs> wow, excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much for being present, for, uh, you know, paying attention to my needs and sacrificing yourselves for the greater good. Of course it's for the greater good. But that kind of teaches me that, hey, maybe don't be so liberal with the throwing of these purple craps. Because there will be a te uh, temple level where I do not have time to do something like that. With this out. Don't crush it! Be careful here. We can, we can wait this out. It's all good. It's all good. Alright. No more banter. No silly conversations about TV shows, alright? We got concentration that needs to happen here. You should die one of these. There you go. Let me get rid of you. I, you make me terribly nervous. And of course we're doing that challenge right there. What? Alright. No need to kill the shopkeeper. There is no such, shop, such thing as a shopkeeper. All we need to do is one of these. Hello. And we are going to the City of Gold, damn it. What we're not doing is going to do what? My entire run hinges on the back of this backpack, of this jetpack. It is my ultimate purpose. Bruh, you, you still need to actually <laughs> light up every torch, please. It would be so painful not to. All right, so good. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, we're not going to do what? The, my, the entire run hinges on my ability to not lose this jetpack before... Before 6-4. That is what we're going for. Give me that. And to the point that I, I did tell you I have a new keyboard. Gotta make sure to... Okay, guys. Okay, we can do it. It's all good. Because, you know, the, the space bar, the space bar, the space bar activates at a slightly different spot. So that is the one thing that I may not be reliable at. Activating it. Careful. Okay, it's all good. Um, activating the space bar, you know, to properly go up. Into the city of gold we go. A few bums, not too many. Unfortunately, have I ever blown up the Spelunky 2 City of Gold? Have I ever done it? I must have at some point, right? I must have. Pretty freaking annoying. I have no ropes, that's right. So let me look away. Don't get murdered by this... Leprechaun, because he can murder me. He can throw me onto Kali's altar and make me go straight to the what? I'll take the extra health. I'll take the money that comes out of this money piñata. Sure, you, you guys do anything you want to my butthole. <laughs> we will, we'll see you later in hell. This is crap. Give me that blood, though. Give me that blood. <sighs> the crockman is where... My life is uh, flashing before my ass right now. I'm not gonna mess with it, man. I'm not gonna mess with anything that's happening here. We're just going to bomb a few places. We still want to have a nice supply of bombs 
to um, get the big heist accomplished. So we're going to play it real safe in the City of Gold. I'm still going to get some cash. It's not going to be a whole lot, though. Let me trigger this. And we're going to put a bomb there. Give me that cash. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. A nice pile of leprechaun gold. I told you fellas that I will get them back. How you people, do you people, do filthy leprechauns manage to always get onto my ass? Here, get crushed, bitch. <laughs> oh, get rid of it. Pisses me off. Okay, good stuff. Get all the money in the corner. I get so many coins out of this. This pleases me so much. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, oh. Okay, 155. Let's say I had 155. Thousand. Pretty decent. Oh, yeah, that's less than I expected, honestly. But a pretty decent haul. My gold. My beautiful gold. How much is you? Just 1750, huh? That's pretty ass. I'll take it though. We could farm some blood here. Actually, no, we are almost done. We gotta go. <laughs> it's time to leave the city of gold. Oh yeah. Success! It was pretty good. And the city of gold ain't what it used to be, you know? It's just not that great. You hear an incessant incessant buzzing. I'll be honest. I have no idea what that's about. How sad is that? That the temple excursions are so rare and the mood levels are so rare that I I would confidently say I have never encountered this level mood. <laughs> it's so sad of a statement. But it certainly is true. I mean, as far as my recollection, it may not be actually true. We did a lot of spelunking in the past, you know. We have been around the block. We have quite the history. Oh, that's a dangerous ghost spot if I ever saw any. Let me move it somewhere where it will not be destroyed. Which is over here. I mean, we can destroy it later to get some money out of it. Holy crap, I almost got it triggered. What is going on in this exit, brother? Let me just put it next to the exit here. I hate this crush block. It's going away. I cannot stand it. All right. It's, this is all so I can go over here, go through the exit, see what it looks like. Oh, it's up there because I, I am a very silly individual. Let me get through there. What you got? You got a mega, mega bee back here? You do, you do. Oh, but there's no access to the vault, unfortunately. I think this bomb will absolutely murder you. It will not murder you. I do have spike juice, right? Get me out! Get me out of here! <laughs> uh, there you go. We, we break even. It's all good. Very tempted by this vault, but obviously I have no real access to it, so we're leaving. Oh yeah, the ice games. We have the. Hey, we do have the <laughs> the alien compass, which you know is not. Not the smartest thing to go, to go into the mothership, get yourself the plasma cannon. Probably you're just asking to get utterly destroyed if you do that. Because the fake shopkeepers will absolutely murder you. And here's something I actually don't know. Do they count the shopkeepers that spawn in the mothership? Do they count toward making you a criminal? I bet they do. So it's like a net super negative to go into the mothership when you're trying to get do a cosmic ocean run you're basically screwing yourself over in so many different ways oh yeah give me all that blood give it to me yeah, this lady is not bad as long as you don't get cocky about it you do one stump at a time and you call it a day it's all good I mean, those, those, these ropes are actually vital to my survival, so 
I have zero regret about coming down here and getting them from her corpse. Uh, I forget, does he drop... Does this fat fella drop ropes? I forget completely. He does. Let's use one to get three. Seems reasonable to me. Now oh, we are done. We're done with this silly nonsense. All right. I don't know why I was trying to whip that. Hey, there's another Kali out there. They're everywhere. She is the the most present deity in this land. And am I terribly off base? It's not like I have, you know, gone online to see the discourse and attack a titan. It is very old hat. The finale was maybe, I don't know, three, four years ago? It was a while ago. So it's nice to have a complete show to watch during my lunch times. Whenever I'm home in my day off, you know, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... As far as I understand, it's a well-beloved show. I have never seen any criticism about exposition because people are kind of numb to that. People that are, are into anime either love it that kind of exposition what the <laughs> or just are numb to it they just see it as part of the experience I hate everything about this entire place please let me through ah oh <laughs> you just made me nervous you made me so nervous oh, I was gonna just stomp you but you are protected by horrible traps here is our absolute most dangerous level, right here. And by level, I mean world, entire set of places here. We have to get through it without losing the jetpack. Matters quite a bit. How the hell did I manage to not get murdered by that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it could have easily been murder. Or rather, losing the jetpack. Okay, it's all good. Everything's fine. Let's bomb our way in there. This bomb situation is sad. I'm staring... ...in the face of the fact that I am running out of explosives and we do need to get that heist done. Uh, actually, we don't need to go in there. I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, it is completely worthless for me to go in there. For I do not have the information it requires. <laughs> Here I was getting a little greedy, trying to get a few more coins in my pocket. Little did I know there was a giant ball of fire coming to my way, trying to ruin my life. Get me out of here. Just get through one more day, man. You gotta... You gotta get one more level. And it's a matter of not hitting any of the balls. This is a challenge I always fail at the brothel. Let's see if I don't challenge it, uh, if I don't fail it here. Ooh, if I keep standing there, I am dead. Oh, oh no, okay, <laughs> so everything trying to, everything's trying to ruin my life. Uh, so the objective, we don't care about this one. But we do want his weapon. This is a nightmare, man. There's nothing down there. It's all good. You will be a problem. Actually, no, you won't be a problem, so I won't touch you. This poor cat paid the ultimate price. Yeah, yeah. Hit me in the back with your laser. Ugh. What a nightmare, man. <laughs> Everything sucks. <laughs> Oh, I get rendered into a completely... into a mute deaf imbecile. By all the things that happen in front of me. Alright, so we got that fellow... whom we want to murder. Oh, one reason why we want to go into the banquet. Oof, this is a rough one, man. Uh, because it gives you the... the clover. But I think this toss of the bomb is very good. He said, almost dying to it. 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Get wrecked, son. Okay, so I still cannot go in here, right? I forget, completely forgot about that. <laughs> Oops, so we do need... <sighs> That's the choice that I have to make now. Do I go back? And try to make this work? Or do I cut my losses and just go out of my way to get money in the Cosmic Ocean? I cut my losses. This is, <laughs> this is, this is too good of a run to jeopardize it in such a silly way. Uh, we're just trying to make some cash in the Cosmic Ocean, go out of our way to grab cash from the ground. I am not counting chickens before they hatch. I'm just here, you know, giving my best self to the challenge. And the rope situation is a little bad. I will make it work. So good. I do have spring shoes. Woohoo! Alright, alright, we got this! Could I put one more rope up? I think so. This may be a mistake. Oh, that was too much! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> oh, I was very upset just now. Almost had a heart attack. It's all good though. <laughs> we did use a few more panic ropes. But it's all good. Everything's fine. We have the cosmic, cosmic ocean compass. It's all taken care of. Uh, I'm just not a fan of, uh, of exposition. Okay, my mind keeps going back to it. Exposition. The more I experience media, the more I despise it. It's like I don't need to be told this. I I got it. <laughs> I don't uh, need to learn about this. These pointless details i get it does the thing a lot of storytellers get lost in the weeds of telling you details that don't matter and it may feel like they matter but they just don't and men are japanese storytellers super guilty of it and i understand they may not even be doing it uh, because they think that's the best way to tell the story they're just doing it because it's convention for the genre or the the format. Where the hell is rat face? There's no rat face in this sunken city level. Which means we we'll probably have to take the damn bow and arrow to the next one. Which is fine. I saw a few bombs down there. Why not? Put a bomb to gain plus two. Hello, you filthy pile of goop. I despise you. Anyway, let me get this dog to the exit. Why the hell not? Uh, watch out, watch out. We take no chances here. Okay, I figured it was triggered because, you know, it was all blown up to smithereens, but... Hey. Might as well make certain that I'm not going in there with the damn arrow trap that has not been triggered yet. I am protected, though, against curses. What a lifesaver of a shot, bud. You and I, we can finally fight on the same team. Alrighty. We're getting there. We're getting there. I wonder. I wonder what is the talk, the inside talk in in Japanese bullpens and Japanese, you know, circles of storytelling. Like, do they just embrace it? Is this something they don't even think about? About the entire aspect of the format being so exposition heavy because it's not a it's not a general rule actually you are annoying holy crap um it's not a general rule free Rin did it but it was so much more subdued uh the, those berserk movies didn't do it berserk in general is pretty good about not doing it in the manga unless I am uh, misremembering it <laughs> please can I grab this arrow I need it there you go Get this cash I had him I had an example in mind that was like there's zero exposition in this one and uh, I can't remember it now because it always I always 
you know, I've thought about this many times before. It's like, the, I, it always comes to mind as, yeah, but there's this other anime that has, like, hardly any exposition. It's like they go, they go to the extremes. It's either all or nothing. Something like that. Certainly, I think only in media that is trying to unsettle you, they will go zero exposition. Like, I forget, it's something blue, that very well-known, uh, creepy, stalking, almost horror story about the pop idol being stalked by the weirdo. Something blue, I forget the name of it. Um, that doesn't do any exposition. Quite the contrary of that, it wants to unsettle you. Uzumaki, I don't think it did any exposition, although that is a manga, it's not actual anime. Freerin was really good about it in the first half. Then it went into the freaking test arc and slowed down to a crawl. <laughs> Still enjoyed it, but holy crap, brother. Did you fall into the pitfalls of... of uh, you were doing so great, such a great job at doing a... like completely subverting all these damn tropes and in the entire test arc where Fern becomes her uh, first class mage. Holy crap, the, the, you go overboard. Undoing all the wonderful trope denials that Freerin did anyway. I'm trying to get at is, wonder how the storytellers themselves feel about the entire thing. I wonder if it's something that they're they, they're just begrudgingly including their storytelling, something that they are thankful for because they can pad their series from 12 episodes to 26. I don't really understand what is the purpose of that, by the way. It's like, why would you want to pad your series in any way? I suppose because you want to do a whole series of television that airs almost all year round. And I understand that. I get that. But it's like, ugh, is it worth it to make your your entire creative endeavor this much more of a slog? I don't know, brother. I don't know. I have thoughts. I have thoughts in the matter either way. You're going to walk this way. That's too early. No, it's not. It was too late, actually. Okay, you got another chance. You got another chance. Come on. He's a trash. <laughs> We're gonna be stuck. You can do it. You can do it. Nah, that's not gonna do it. Ah, oh, I hate it. I hate it when I fail miserably. That's a good shot, though. May have been just the bomb. You can reach this far, you filthy chicken snake. Oh, you do reach this far! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, let's forget. Just how far up do you go? That was terrible. Anyway, we do have a try and true tactic here. We go from side to side. It takes forever, but it is extremely reliable. It's okay. You don't have to endure it with me. I'll cut out the parts where I'm just sitting like an idiot. <laughs> just waiting for this damn chicken snake to move. There you go. And we wait again. Let me see if I can time a good bomb here. Eee, that was pretty close. That was terrible. Pretty obnoxious. I can't be spending any more bombs. Only 21 going into the cosmic ocean is... Eh. Borderline. It's borderline. It's a bad business practice. Oopla. We would again. The good way of doing it is actually having it bounce off the warm meat down there. But I didn't do it right. At least the bomb reached the damn chicken. But that's a little bit more damage on it. Does not really matter. <laughs> because we are taking turns. Let's be patient though. Because I don't get here, I don't get this far so often that I am ready to shun 
an opportunity because oh I wanted it to get done one minute earlier. Whoop. You know something I just realized and it's a little a little more risky, but it works a lot better. Instead of going to the other side, just loop back to the same side. Doesn't take nearly as long, and then you kill one of the heads that much faster. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to cut that out. It's gonna happen. Look at me. Look at me being the greatest. Wah! How many strikes will it take to obliterate your anus? I am getting mighty mad about this chicken head being so damn tough. Woohoo! Wait for the extra attacks and then we go around and we do the thing. Can I expedite this much more? Sure can. Can I do it safely? I don't trust myself to do that. Holy crap, you're still, still alive. Four damage per. I guess it makes sense since they have 30 damage, 30 health each. Oop. There we are. All right, all right. Now it should be a matter of routine to get a good stomp on the other head. Just gotta wait out a little bit. Actually, let me just be extra super duper mega safe. And wait until it's on the other side. Hmm. I do not dare to be too optimistic. There you are. But I will mention this is the situation I was in for my actual win. Cosmic Ocean Compass. 30 ropes. Totally worth it to go down there. Give me some cash, baby. Uh, come the... Cosmic Compass, galactic navigational item, beautiful stuff, and an extra life. Okay. So let's not get poisoned. <laughs> That'll be great. Not getting poisoned in the first few levels will be an amazing boon for my survival. But this time around, I'm getting here with 65 health instead of 40. Will that make that much of a difference? I guess we will find out when I inevitably get poisoned. This is an extremely short level, and yet I haven't seen zero bubbles so far. How can this be? This is impossible. Impossible. Oh, what the <laughs> freaking hell is happening here? All right, one. Not worth the rope. Uh, and there's the other two. Pretty painful. But I can just drop... Actually... You gotta be pretty careful. Because thing, I think it's gonna, yeah, come from the bottom because the level is so tiny. I wanted the money, but... I was slightly hard-pressed to get this far. Alright, okay. Careful of the spikes. The tidy pool is the... I would say it is the easiest of them all. I mean, not, because these guys exist. The only real danger are those spikes. Do we have any kind of specs? We don't. Oh, look at this. Propitious. You know what? I'm gonna farm some money. Let's see if we can get some low-hanging fruit. It's just another really short level. Still gonna get myself a little bit of cash. Look at that, $5,500? You can't scoff at that. Guess you can scoff a little bit at that in Spelunky terms. Hardly anything to be spoken of. Hosso! Right. Another Cosmic Ocean. Give me super short ones like that, please. That would be great. But we do have a lot of ground to cover where money is concerned, though. It is very upsetting. But I was not able to get that heist done because I did not have enough knowledge. That was a, a strategy problem. Completely forgot that, hey, you actually need 
a way to get through the bottom. You can't just walk in here. Please do not throw me into spikes. These people don't own the damn key to it. You would think that the guard at the bottom will have a key to it. Doesn't work that way though. Number two. Oh yeah. Something I could have done that I just now am thinking about. You know you can with hired hands. And a little bit of determination. You can get the plasma cannon into the cosmic ocean. In fact, this would have been a great seat to get it done. Should have considered that. I even had the two slaves. Oh, that got they got super destroyed by uh, by a ghost. But hey, I, I could have maybe made it work. Where's the last ball? Kind of mad. It's not anywhere around here. I've been all over this damn place. There it is. Clearly, I wasn't all over the damn place. Because uh, there it is. Pow. Let's wait for the amoeba to come over. Damn stupid ass jellyfish. Actually, want to go into the middle here. Yeah. Very nice. I'm not much of an anime guy. I, I kind of try to be, but like I said, my tolerance is pretty low for that kind of stuff that I've been bitching about. Ah, let's not go for that emerald. So there are not that many shows that actually fit uh, my tolerance level. Another one that did a pretty decent job at not being an exposition fest was Chainsaw Man. I want to say that was the name of it. Pretty sure that's the name of it. We actually don't want to save this bubble. It's uh, kind of a pain in the ass to burst and then not be jellied immediately. I'll take that money. Look at me. Pocketing extremely easy cash. Uh, so, you know, I guess you could just call me a uh, mainstream Andy. Quite the tourist in the anime in the anime realm, I'm not going to be telling you any quotes from Doki Doki, my cousin is an elephant. Oh no, we are getting married. That could easily be an anime title, by the way. Don't think I'm exaggerating in what I just said. Please give me the last ball, though. <laughs> what is happening in this level? Uh, if I were to guess, it's probably at the very bottom. That's what usually goes on whenever I don't find it. It's like stuck at the bottom. There it is. What a nightmare situation down there. The last ball situation is insane. Well, <laughs> all right. I'll try again. Please do not arrow me though. Wow, this level may be a little short. But it sure is very fat. As in the other way around. Narrow, but it's extremely tall. Okay, we want to burst this. Do this. And then we wait for the jelly. And now we go to the exit. Which is very conveniently pointed out by a giant arrow. So, you know, all of you... All of you great super nerds of the anime realm, if you got good shows with hardly any exposition, but they, they still are bangers, they're not trash, I would totally uh, follow your recommendation. I've been seeing buzz about solo leveling, but I haven't tried it out yet. I have an open mind, but I don't know if it's the genre that I'm down, I'm into. This is those... Uh, Shonen and Isekai combinations that are like, yeah, I don't know. Feels like if you watch one, you have seen them all. This was a mistake, obviously. I did not mean to get the third one already. I should be okay. I guess I'm going upwards. I hate going upwards. 
into a place that I haven't seen. It should be all right to go over this side. This jelly, though. Looking, looking, looking in case that there's a wonderful surprise next to the exit. It's all good. Oh, baby. Again, looking for cash. Take cover, buddy, because those explosions have your name on it. They are heat-seeking missiles, and my ass is on fire. Nothing to do with all those tacos I ate, okay? Miguel's chili is legendary. And I will not put the safety of my butthole above the pleasure of my stomach and my mouth. Waiting out. All right. We loop. Probably a bad idea to loop, now that I think about it. It's a terrible plan for the future to go into the loop without knowing what's in it. All right. Well, in Vorkana, you know the drill. We go down instead of up. I would like to have that crate. Ain't gonna happen, though. The exit is that, that a ways. We'll grab a little bit of cash here and there. Uh, the exit seems very reasonable. Wow, this is a long level. Holy crap, I should be roasted. Get rid of this filth. Alright, get me down to the bottom. Somehow we have managed to gather almost 99 health between invigorations on all my blood harvest. It's very nice. Okay, we got the bubble. But do we have the cash? The answer is no. We need to have more cash. I need to go out of my way to get more money. So that's what I'm doing. Being diligent. Ah! Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, I could have been stung and I would have deserved it. Man, this is so tempting, all this cash in there, but we're not going to do that. We're grabbing cash, but as long as we go out of our way to get the extra penny here and there, it should cumulatively make all the difference in the end. But man, would it be a tragedy to finish a $7.99 and then realize somebody else beat me to the to the maximum money. Okay, we got actually a rough spot here. Because this ball is in a pretty annoying spot. I'll use a bomb here. It gives me three emeralds. And then another bomb will give me... Look at that. Almost 10,000. Me Give me that crate that actually was open. But hey, it does create a nice path. We have a little under a minute. Okay, we got a path going. Let's use it. This volcano level took some took some some thought. Took some doing. Gave Luna a new box. She has been using it almost non-stop she's in there with the plastic wrapping that came with it happy as a clam makes a lot of noise though threw a few hairbands in there because you know, this cat she treats her hairbands like they are her children she drowns them in her water water pond what do you mean you're not supposed to do that with children the inconvenient ones you do so, who the, what the hell are you talking about? Let me just murder you real quick. And steal all your cash. Ow. Holy crap. This piece of trash could have easily given me a heart attack. Probably had a very low chance of stun locking me to death, but I did not appreciate him coming up to me, being a piece of garbage. Nothing in there. Give me balls. Any balls. Pretty sure we already got two out of three. There you are. More money? Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of money this way. Yep. Alright, alright. So good. Go over that way so we can do this thing. Oh, it's actually blocked off. Excuse me. <laughs> this is this is not kosher. This is not right. Derek! 
fix this immediately. <laughs> what is this? This is a, a unreleased type of problem. This is not a three years in type of problem where your Cosmic Ocean exit is completely unreachable. What the hell, brother? <laughs> that ain't right. That just ain't right. One bomb for 6600. It is just not worth it. I wanted to see with my very own two eyes whether it was worth it. It is absolutely not worth it. So, not gonna be doing that anymore. Even if there are two juicy gems in the walls, it is super not worth exploding anything for it when I am pretty low on bombs. If I were, like, flush with explosives, then sure, but so not worth it. All right, all right. Get you murdered, get you killed, get you destroyed. Get me right here. We loop, hopefully not into an arrow trap. And another level complete. Hello, die. Here we are undercover, it's all good. <laughs> Bad things can happen at any point in Neo Babylon. We don't you don't climb up though, you go down. I'll take that cash. Ooh, even single ingots are worth picking up. Oh, that's number two. All right, all right. Gotta keep track of that. Oh, wow, this is just awful. <laughs> what a terrible underside of a level. Okay. It's just in completely intractable. Give me that money. Mm -hmm. Looking for my missing balls. Have you seen my beautiful balls? Oh, please, if you could tell me where I could find my balls. They're just uh, nowhere to be seen. I misplaced them. Don't know where they went. There's an elevator right here. Ah, there you are. What's up? Oh, they're coming a little, a little hotter than anticipated. Oh, baby. <laughs> Upsetting, but fine. Hello, Mr. Yeti, I see you. I acknowledge you. I validate your existence. You are a valid member of the ice caves and I look forward to our further interactions where we can discover a mutual understanding of respect you could even say love between one another let us put to bed all this conflicting emotions give ourselves the freedom and the courage. Holy crap. To just forgive each other. Alright, another moment of truth here. Every time we come across one of these. Uh, definitely saving one of these. Absolutely. Well, there off it goes. <laughs> Alright, well, let's find the third one, I guess. <laughs> and that lady. She can be a real problem. Let's make her not be. Problem no more. All right, let's uh, go see if we can get some cash out of this level. Very nice. A bubble. Uh, I've seen almost zero cash in this level, but I am willing to explore. How about I don't? How about temple levels are just exempt? Do you think that's a good policy? Temple levels are exempt from greed. We are here just to get through them. God damn it, I'm going to have that. I'm going to have it. Pain. Of course. Of course you would do this to me. Okay, let's stop being foolish. I officially declare temple levels free of greed. There is no daily challenge 
money making in the temple level. Why are you here? Why have I done this to myself? Oh man, but I want that crate though. I want it. I'm all too eager to have it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Nothing bad will happen to me if I just go get it and then go back. Let me get rid of this damn block. Nothing bad will happen here. Go pop this ball. Watch out for the jelly. Where are you coming from there? That weirds me out a little bit. But we looping though. I think it's like over there. Need to do something like this. Pretty nightmarish exit. All right. Will that lady have been a problem? Probably not. Careful about elevators. When you are spawning Neo Babylon, you don't stay still. You are always watching above your head. Okay. Exit is above. Man, that arrow is the greatest thing. The absolute greatest thing. Do not take my jetpack away. You red filth. All right. No balls here, though. Let's go to the top of the level and start looking in a serious manner. Can I sell some extra cash in the, in the interim? Number two. Must have destroyed one already. Ooh. And number three. I haven't seen the exit, but let's uh, count on this red arrow pointing toward it. What is the worst that can happen? Gonna slow the advance. It's pretty awful. Probably should have seen that coming. Oh man, should have seen that coming. Should have expected it happening. Three ropes, suddenly ropes are a massive, a massive, very important item in my arsenal. How awful. <laughs> what a terrible location for this exit. Anyway, don't worry. There's going to be... Oh, oh you're supposed to kill each other. You weirdos. Uh, there's going to be... Uh, Jetpack in the walls. Worry not for my fate. I got this under control. <laughs> Do not let previous experiences sway you. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I got this level right where I wanted. Right where I wanted it. Okay, so that's the way to the exit. And nothing bad will happen to me the moment I pop this ball. <laughs> it's so sad. It's, it's perhaps the saddest thing. Okay, when I wait for the jelly. It comes at an upwards angle. That will be really bad. What the? So why? Is everything's under control. <laughs> so fine. <laughs> oh. I don't even know how far along we are, but it's gonna work out. Wee! <laughs> you know, I don't take any silly chances or anything, so it's all good. We're gonna make it. Nay, but a set setback. All right, great stuff. Just a brief setback. Don't worry about it. These are all the things that I am telling you, but in fact, I am repeating so that I, I don't internally freak out. Am I really just in 719? It feels like I've been here for the last 20 years, man. This is a prison sentence. <laughs> this is a, a whole term that I am serving. There's no good behavior to be had. Oh, you were supposed to be destroyed. Number two. <laughs> oh 
baby. <laughs> Just wanted to save myself a rope. I gave myself a concussion instead. Okay, let's not be silly. We're gonna have to be spending many, many ropes. Jetpack in the crate. I'm going to call it out every time. And every time, I'm going to expect it. I will be very disappointed if it never ends up happening. So anyway, we gotta have to make this happen quickly. Unless... Oh, oh baby. Unless I want to suffer double the jelly, so... What a jokester, man. <laughs> what a jokester, Derek. Thanks a lot for your wonderful, wonderful new level in the temple. You're a real team player. You know what? You're a, a, a true boon to gaming society. Huh? Number one. Oh, so great. It is permanently scrolling. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, so we got a ball there. What the f <laughs> You're a problem. What is this, this nightmare? What is this nightmare level? Weep! <laughs> Catch it right real quick. Um, number two. Still getting money. What's up? <laughs> what the hell, brother? <laughs> Why you do this? Why you do this? Okay, the last ball was over there next to the exit, right? Oh, well, this cat is kind of an annoyance. Let's put a bomb here so it's easier access. Bombs have been so stingy. Whoop. There you go. Take it easy, take it slow. Make it happen. Engage. Great stuff. Another level complete. Whoop. Number two, huh? Somehow. Oh, I am a profit minded individual. I'm not gonna take a gift horse in the mouth or in the cock. I'm just going to. Boom, my life. Okay, nothing to be found this way. Just foot like if you thought Banter was over with a jetpack. This is concentration city. There can be no slip ups. There can be zero dedication to anything other than the complete and utter. completion of these levels trying to find a good way to get this ball I think we want to do something like this go over here that was triggered this filthy spider and then we open it up with an explosive makes my life a lot easier and then because I'm silly I need to spin a rope to get up there oh all right another level complete Number one bubble has been defeated. These platforms are actually important now. I should not be spending them all willy-nilly like that. Wee -oop. This is upsetting. I guess we'll go to the other side and hope for a better... Oh, there you go. <laughs> My platforms are gone. I have no way to get over to the other side. Let's hope for... Or better luck on the other side. At least now, the firebugs no longer constitute a deathly threat. For I no longer have anything to lose. Jetpack? Jetpack in the wall? Well, I'll take it. <laughs> no. um, I want to make my way to this ball. So that's the, how I'm doing it. Should have probably done it here for a little bit of extra cash. You could even say it's it's like a a lost cause to be trying so hard now. 
because the thing is, people with a jetpack are going to na oh, just, just naturally be gathering a lot more money than me now. So, you know, it's quite a heartbreaker. I need to bomb my way through, otherwise I just cannot make it. Because of the way of the, the right-hand side is configured. A load of crap. Okay, the exit's up there. What is this, brother? What What is this nonsense? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I'm safe here, right? Right? Famous last words? Right. <laughs> it was a well-placed bomb in a bad place. Well, here's where we're at. It's over. <laughs> Do I have an extra life? It was such a terrible level. Obviously, I was slightly incompetent. But holy crap, that was a brutal position for the exit and, and how to get around it. <sighs> We're still not done, though. I'm going to have to pull off one of these. Right, we need to get to the edge here. And then go down. Please. Yep, 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 yeah. So good, so good. We live to fight another day. Still not yet over. Do you know you keep, you keep, you do keep it, right? Your curse protection, you keep it through death. Do you know that? Or I think I knew that, but I forgot. I noticed, I, I vaguely remember noticing a long time ago. So, you know, if we receive poison, it's still not lost. Okay, we actually got to be careful now about health. We don't want to get whittled down. Look. It ain't over until my butthole sings. Well, my butthole has decided, has stayed extremely quiet so far. So, we are not yet done. We have still hope. Grab onto something, please. Oh, yo, yo, yo. I thought it was an arrow trap. That's something that's totally gonna get me. Okay. I have time, I have time, don't worry about it. Is there a reason to come over this way? Kinda. We can get up there. In a way, it becomes even more fun. Because it creates all these different paths that you wouldn't even consider. With a jetpack on. But now I need to actually engage fully with the level in front of me. And boy, is it painful. If we need to use a rope here, I'm probably I'm better off destroying this one. Let's see if we can get in there again. Oh, you're actually. Yeah. I was like, are you number one, number two? What is going on here? Don't need to kill that. I will take some blood from your entrails. Okay, so there's the exit. That is not triggered. Do not get murdered by that. And that's the ball. All right. We got a fairly clear path. We do need to use a rope in the middle. We use the rope to get around the jelly. <laughs> was super not necessary. <laughs> I don't risk things, there is no gain. And I just saw the crate, I'm gonna have it. You can't stop me. We're gonna get to the million. Look, even if I fail, I would absolutely come. This one as a win, come on. We got so far, so far, unlimited resources. Truly some merits for this run. I'm already talking like it's over, it ain't over. I'm gonna make it. Ooh, that was a mistake. Not punished, though. Yep. We should be looking down, looking for arrow traps. They're a real danger in the loop. They will literally just murder me. Need some extra blood. Very important. We do the thing. Uh, it's not triggered. Let's trigger it. Also trigger the lizard. Whoopla. Yeah. Moles have been so rare. I wanna grab cavemen and mole to moles to protect myself from arrow traps. 
But you just don't see them. Okay, there's a ball. Oh, wow. Number two. Oh, this is a this is a terrible spot. Do I spin a rope to make it safe? Let's hope I don't have to even answer that question. I can go over to this side. Alright, we got uh, plenty of time. This has become an ASMR let's play. Very quietly concentrating on the things that happen in front of us. It would be a shame if suddenly so maniac gave you a heart attack! <laughs> They'll wake you up. Don't sleep! There's no sleep. There's nothing but misery in this spelunky experience. Anyway. Just destroy it. What's the worst that can happen? We're just going to... Ooh, maybe get killed by a lizard. <laughs> Alright, there's the, the arrow. We do one of these. Get some lupin. I think this is a good path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting myself some cash as I go through the motions. Number one. 850,000. Not even halfway the Cosmic Ocean. Still plenty of opportunities to get money. Easily. I'm not poisoned, am I? No, I not even use it up. What the? <laughs> oh yeah, I tried to jump. Oh, it's over. Rope. I should have just dropped. Oh. It was coming from just the right angle and just the right speed. To get me murdered? Should I just drop down and just hope for the best? <laughs> Did not keep count on the bubbles, or maybe one of them was broken when I wasn't looking. Either way, it was a great run. I'm don't I don't uh, hold it against anybody. Look at me. I am actually number. F I am number one. Look at the. I am the greatest. May have something to do with the the daily challenge. Just roll it in. It is early in the afternoon. And that's when the daily challenge rolls in. Rolls in. But hey, look at me. 726. I have a crown. You cannot de de crown this amazing super player. Even the crossplay player. I'm only playing against the Steam people. But even the PlayStation players got beat. I'm surprised. Half the players are on PlayStation. I, I didn't expect the number to be that high. I expected maybe 20, 30 percent. Most people play, play on PC, but I guess not. I really do need to go to crossplay. A lot of people do do console. And the Xbox still exists? Damn, that's news to me.